Hello, this is Wes Crow. I don't know if you remember from one of my first haul, I think it was the first haul. I picked up this box. I wasn't sure what I was going to use it for and I finally figured out what I want to use it for. I think I'm going to use it as an incense box. I think it's kind of nice uh, with the smoke coming up through the holes. So anyways, I've been debating for a very long time about what I want, um, how I want to decorate this, what I want to do with it, whether I want to just paint it all black on the outside and then a color like purple on the inside. And that's what I thought I was wanting to do for the longest time. And then I thought, well, I wanted some of the wood grain to show through a little bit. Not that this is like high quality wood, but I wanted a little bit of, I didn't want it to just be straight up paint. So I started experimenting with what I had around. And I tried some sample things on the bottom here. The, the purple, that is, that is this wine, red wine. Uh, it's pretty cheap, so I don't mind using it. And then the brown is this really old uh, leather antique finish. Um, it's, it's nice. It's this color here and that there. But I think I want to do the wine because the room I want to put it in is purple. And I kind of like the way this looks. Then on the inside, I'm either going to leave it plain on the inside or if I mess up a lot, I think I might make it silver on the inside. We'll see. I have this to put so we don't waste any wine. <laughs> don't want to waste the wine. And I have my paint brushes. Um, this is from painting the house, uh, but it was too small of a brush to really do much for around the house, so it'll be good for this. And then I was thinking you know, of using this on in the little corners there. We'll see. Might as well start with up here first. Now this is going to take a few layers because this was quite a few layers built on top that I tried every uh, few days. Um, and then this is a ring of where, um, where it's darker, where the uh, liquid built up like right here. Um, so this is going to take a couple days to get it as dark as I like it. And it looks red right now because um, it took a few days for it to oxidize to this purple color. At least I think that's oxidizing. I think that's the process that's happening there. So, yeah. But yeah, doing it in such thin coats like this is going to take a while. As you can tell, this part here is already starting to dry a bit um, because it's pretty dry wood. It's just raw, raw wood. It's not bone dry yet, but it's dry enough that it might soak in a little bit more here. I'm almost kind of thinking here that it kind of looks nice having the center a little bit lighter than the sides. So I might try just sort of making the sides slightly darker. Okay, so I think that's good for this first layer. I'm gonna let it really dry and come back so that it can soak up a whole bunch more once it's dry. But I don't wanna waste the wine, so. Look at how pink it looks. I forgot how pink it looks before it's done. Wow. It'll obviously not look that pink when it's done. It'll look different. So to again, not waste the wine. I'm gonna put this whole bowl in a Ziploc bag and put it in the fridge. Squeeze this brush out a little. So this is what it looks like after about an hour and a half of drying. Um, just that first coat. Um, I guess it could dry a little bit more there, but it's, it'll do okay. Um, so I'm going to, it feels dry to the touch, I'm going to do the next couple coats and let them dry. But as you can tell, it already 
looks much more purple. It still has some pink to it, but it still looks pretty more purple than it used to. So I decided to uh, let this dry out overnight. There's my rooster, he won't shut up and let me do this. Uh, I decided to let it dry overnight uh, instead of just an hour or two. So this is what it looks like after I think this is four or six coats and two or three drying periods. Uh, there's a the top around there. Like, If you didn't like this color, I actually kind of like this darker color around here. Um, but if you didn't like that, then I would suggest taking off the hardware before you start this, but I actually kind of like it, so it works for me. Anyways, I think I'm going to add a few more coats. This is the end result. You don't like this well, do you? I don't have any tones right now, so I just cut a, a long uh, stick incense and made an X. So that's why there's kind of two points of uh, smoke coming out of there. <laughs> 